So I say, not so much as your vice president, but as a brother in Christ, if what you've seen and heard and learned in this place has also taken hold in your hearts, go from here and live it out. Share it. Because America needs men and women of integrity and faith now more than ever. Because we live in a time when it's become acceptable and even fashionable to ridicule and even discriminate against people of faith. Dr. Carson just talked about it a few moments ago. You know, it wasn't all that long ago that the last administration brought the full weight of the federal government against the little sisters of the poor, merely because that group of nuns refused to provide a health plan that violated their deeply held religious beliefs. And when the state of Georgia recently was debating legal protections for the unborn, a bevy of Hollywood liberals said they would boycott the entire state. And when my wife Karen returned to teach art at an elementary Christian school earlier this year, we faced harsh attacks by the media and the secular left, and a major newspaper reporter actually started a new hashtag called Expose Christian Schools, inviting students to share their horror stories of Christian education. You know, throughout most of American history, it's been pretty easy to call yourself Christian. It didn't even occur to people that you might be shunned or ridiculed for defending the teachings of the Bible. But things are different now. Some of the loudest voices for tolerance today have little tolerance for traditional Christian beliefs. So as you go about your daily life, just be ready. Because you're going to be asked not just to tolerate things that violate your faith, you're going to be asked to endorse them. You're going to be asked to bow down to the idols of the popular culture. So you need to prepare your minds for action, men and women. You need to show that we can love God and love our neighbor at the same time through words and deeds. And you need to be prepared to meet opposition.